Senator Steinberg. Thank you very much, Mr. President. This is the first of a number of budget trailer bills that we will take up today. Uh, preceding the first bill here, uh, I want to make a, an opening statement that I hope will set a constructive and civil stage for the beginning of resolving the 2011-12 budget. Members, five months ago today, the governor released his budget plan to resolve a $27 billion deficit. His budget asked the legislature and the public to make some of the most difficult choices we've ever been asked to make. It is a budget, as the governor said, that demands courage and sacrifice. A budget that requires all of us who have been elected to do the people's business to rise above ideology and partisan interest and find what is required for the good of California. And it is a budget today that remains, to this day, the only responsible, balanced, and long-term solution on the table to fix the state's fiscal problems. As of today, we have just five days left to meet our constitutional deadline to get the job done. Five days. While there is more work to be done, we should not overlook that we have solved half the budget deficit. In March, largely on a bipartisan fashion in the Senate, we passed and sent to the governor more than $11 billion in harsh cuts. Cuts that every Democrat, probably every member in this House never imagined they would vote for. Among the horrible cuts, a billion dollars from CalWORKs with huge impacts on those trying to better themselves through job training or school. Next month, the earnings limit for recipients will drop below the poverty line for the first time. SSI, SSP for the most disabled, their monthly grants will drop to the federal minimum, a $77 per month cut. That may not seem like a lot, but to an elderly woman living alone, that's two weeks' worth of groceries each month. And with a $290 million cut to California's community colleges, another 148,000, I repeat, 148,000 deserving students will be denied admission. If they're lucky enough to get in, they'll pay almost 40% more for their, for their classes. Members, today we begin this debate with a clear choice. Adopt the governor's proposal to extend 2010 tax rates or make billions of dollars in additional cuts that will result in thousands more lost jobs, devastation to public education, and unacceptable cuts to public safety. Over the last several weeks, I've heard a lot of arguments, you've all made a lot of arguments about the imperfections of the budget plan that is before us today. Many contend that the cuts we've enacted will hurt most those in need of help. They are right. Many contend that the tax extensions will create hardships. They are right. But the only thing worse than enacting the honest, fair, and balanced budget before us today is to avoid making the tough choices we are presented with and allowing this fiscal crisis to linger. I think it is reasonable to expect that there will be a lot of debate today about polls and public sentiment about taxes and spending. Allow me to offer the following takeaway about polls. The public doesn't like cuts and they don't like taxes. And as my budget director is fond of noting, I have yet to see a poll that results in a balanced budget. If there was a pain-free option to balancing the budget, we would have passed it months ago. Our choice must be to fund public education and public safety. Superintendents and sheriffs, police chiefs and school board members are screaming the facts loud and clear. 20,000 teacher pink slips, big class sizes, 
huge cuts in sports and other activities. Public safety agencies are already planning large layoffs. We have all heard from CEOs who have told us that the single most important thing policymakers can do in California to create a good place for business is to pass a balanced budget on time. The governor has negotiated a series of reforms on pensions, spending, and regulation. Let me be clear from the outset, we are ready to bring them forward for a vote if and when there is an agreement to fund education and public safety. We have five days left. It's time to finish the job. The state needs us to do it. Let us begin. Thank you.